Hey, it's Nyx, and today we're going to be working on Supergirl and Power Girl. I thought it was appropriate to do both Supergirl and Power Girl because if you are familiar with the characters, then you know that Supergirl and Power Girl are basically the same character. It's just that Power Girl is from Earth 2, which is, you know, DC has their own different timelines and alternate Earths and stuff. You know, uh, I think both Marvel and DC do that. But anyway, so she's from alternate Earth and she basically has the same storyline as main earth's kara um if you don't know supergirl's real name or one of her real names is kara she's go by kara zorel kara kent kara danvers why does she have so many names i don't know i'm not I'm, i can't say that i am super familiar with the character of um supergirl unfortunately she also has the name of linda danvers uh i think she's been around for quite a while uh, look like she's been around since 1959 so i'm like yeah she's a pretty pretty old character um they eventually killed off this character at some point in dc storyline because you know they like killing off characters and bringing them back because you know again that's just something else that comics tend to do they retcon characters all the time so you know different people probably grew up with different versions of different characters and that happens all the time um, the character, the version of Supergirl that I'm most familiar with is the 90s cartoon version. I think that was 90s, 90s, early 2000s, whatever you want to call that. Maybe it's early 2000s. I don't know. <laughs> but I feel like that cartoon first came out in, 19, in the 90s, like the late 90s. But, you know, I think by the time Supergirl joined Superman, it was probably the early 2000s. So, yeah, uh, her costume and stuff was very different from most of the costumes they have. For a supergirl they usually have a uh, supergirl in now but yeah she was just i don't know they had her be super bubbly and stuff i don't know if that's very true to her comic book version i feel like a lot of people that talk about the comic book version of supergirl um basically it's like she don't really like earthlings like that <laughs> not like saying she hate people or anything like that but she's just not that caring towards people but maybe that's more power girl i'm not i'm not sure how true that is because you know again different versions of the character she has been retconned um i think a couple different times so you know depending on which version of supergirl you are familiar with you might know her as a character that don't really like people like that she kind of struggled with fitting in on earth which you know is understandable because she actually grew up on krypton um you know she was shipped out before you know the planet exploded and everything just like clark um and unfortunately, it just took her a longer time to get to Earth because she's actually older than Clark or Superman. And um, it just took her a longer time to get to Earth. So she appears younger. And I think she was actually asleep in that pod. So she didn't actually get to experience anything. And even if she wasn't asleep in a pod or whatever version of her or whatever storyline that is, whether she got caught somewhere else or whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, she didn't get to experience much more while being shipped to earth so she i mean it's not like she matured while she was in the pod but you know she did grow up on a planet where they had better technology um you know both of their parents is, i think both their parents were geniuses i think uh both supermans and um supergirl's parents were geniuses because i know they were both i think they were all were researchers on there but i can't be 100 percent on that i know I definitely know Clark's parents were. I'm not sure about Kara's. But yeah. Um it was just things like that. So she's so she has like, you know, a higher intellect. But I feel like Clark probably does too, but he grew up on Earth, so he don't really do anything with it. Or maybe he does it. I feel like he don't really do much. But Power Girl, anyway, Power Earth 2's Power Girl is very much uh more mature than Supergirl um physically and mentally the way she fights is very different from Supergirl um how she thinks about going doing things is very different Supergirl she tends to sport a a short bob of some sort um they tend they, she does not want to be like known as a derivative of Superman so her costume does not have the the s like symbol on it at all anywhere She's like, no, I am my own character. I am me. And I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> so I like that about uh, Power Girl. Power Girl, like, look, this is me. I was already a hero. Unfortunately, I was already a hero on my own earth. 
And unfortunately, I just got stranded here on this other Earth. She does eventually get stranded on the main Earth because of, you know, whatever happens in the storyline as far as Earth 2. And um, she's very, like I said, she's a very independent um, character. She does like saving people because she was the, I think she was like the main, I don't want to say she was the main superhero on Earth 2. But she was like one of the main powerhouses on Earth too. Not saying, but Supergirl's main the main powerhouses on on main Earth. So you know you can't really say anything about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Anything else I can really say about these characters? I hope you all enjoy them. I try to get as many costumes for Supergirl as possible because they have a lot of Supergirl costumes. Would you know? When you know? Um, anyway, I thank you all for taking time to watch this video, and I hope you all join me next time. They should be available for download probably next week or so. I, I got life things to do right now, so sorry. It'll take me a while to put them up. But anyway, thank you all for taking time to watch this video. I hope you all are doing well and take care of yourselves until next time. Bye.